it's Tracy again. Welcome to another wonderful episode of Tracy Hat Matters. It's a beautiful morning. Morning. I know my hair is a little bit distracting, but I'm hoping you guys can look past that and just focus on what I have to say. Yeah, I'm a naturalist, so yeah, this happens sometimes. <laughs> every Monday. So for this week, uh, it's a brand new week. I wish you guys a wonderful week ahead. I wish that um, things go your way and that wonderful things happen for you. If you're going to be at work, that things at work go well and that you never have any issues with your boss. And if you own a business, I hope that a lot of customers come around today and the whole of this week. So you could do like, happy Friday. <laughs> All right. So um, before I go ahead with today's topic, I want to um, make a little announcement. So I've been getting a lot of requests to do um, a trusting meet. A trusting meet is um, uh, you sending me mails and asking for a partner. You say uh, I'm a guy, I'm six foot tall, or I'm two inches, or something like that. And you say, okay, I work as a, I have a businessman. I run a business. Um, I'm 28 years old or 48 years old. And then you just give us like your entire details and then we'll say them out on the blog or on the next episode. So it's a trusting me. It's something we've been working on. It's not yet out, but I just wanted to announce to you guys so you can get yourself prepared. Send us a mail. Tell us what you want, the kind of person you're hoping to meet. And of course, do not forget to leave uh, to fill in details about yourself so that the person at least knows the kind of person you're coming to meet. Okay, so last week episode, I talked about how uh, what are the things you should not be looking at when you're trying to get into a relationship so for this week which i said is going to run into series i'm hoping this will be the last series for um the last episode for this particular series so i'm going to be talking about the things that you should focus on the things that you should deem as a necessity what looking for a partner okay now the first thing is for guys you should look for a woman that wants to stay married to you. Yeah, not every woman wants to stay married. Some people just think that, I just feel that, well, I'm going to get married to you, and if you just do anything nasty and I don't like, just cheat on me, or you just lie to me, or whatever it is. You just do something I don't like, I'm out. Yeah, and they're really being serious about that. So it means when you go into a relationship with them, you have a tiny any conflict, they're out. You're not interested in trying to work things out, or go for counseling, or um, looking for ways they could um, actually manage the relationship. So you need to look for a woman who's willing to stay with you. She wants to stay in marriage. She believes in the institution of marriage. Some women do not believe in institution of marriage. They believe that um, once there's a problem, they have every right to just live. So it means they're not interested in trying to work out the relationship. Okay? And the next one is um, you need a woman who is very committed to you. Not every woman will be committed to her man. Some people are not interested. They just feel, I'm going to get married, yes, so what? I'm going to have my career, I get my own money, get my own house. I'm going to do whatever I want to do, my own thing. But you need a woman who's actually committed to making you a better person. Like, the, a woman who really loves you is someone who is going to want to add value to your life. I don't mean financial value, okay? That's not, I'm not talking about money now. I'm talking about essence of life okay a woman who who's going to add value to your well-being she's wants she's going to want to take care of you she's going to want to um impact into your life encourage you support you um when you're feeling down she wants to hear how your day has been going she wants to encourage you and tell you she can tell you that oh when she when she's encouraging you when she's telling you you can do this thing you can do that thing you feel like Oh my God, I can climb a mountain. I can actually throw down the mountain. She actually boosts your ego. You know, she's not, she's not trying to pull you down or tear you apart. She's actually trying to build you up. Okay, she's telling you, okay, don't do your hair like this. You look like a rugged person. I want you to just shave it. They look neat. So when you go for job interviews, you know, people can look at you and say, oh, that's a responsible guy there. Okay, she looks at you, she says, I don't like that trousers. That trousers doesn't match with that shirt, so I don't want to I don't want you wearing that. 
because it's an embarrassment to you. I don't want you wearing that. Please, can you change the trousers? I mean, wear a black trousers instead. Wear a blue trousers instead. This is someone who's trying to build you up. She's trying to make your life easy. She's trying to make your life uh, meaningful. She's trying to make you be neat. She's trying to clean you up, okay? I don't mean completely changing you completely like that. I mean, she's actually trying to take care of you. She is looking for ways she can improve your life. Even if she cannot give you money, because it's actually not her deal to give you money. You know, but she can support you, she can help you, she can add value to your life. She's trying to make sure that you eat well, you sleep right, you exercise well. She's trying to make sure that your health is very much in, put into concentration, okay? So a woman who can add value to your life, a woman who's committed to your well-being, those are, that's the kind of woman you should look forward to getting. Okay? You should also look for a woman who prays. Yes, a prayerful woman is very important because you could be standing right in front of your boss and you're thinking, okay, we want to give a promotion and we have two people as contenders. But because your woman is praying for you, you just find that the doors are opening for you because she's happy with you. She's happy with you. She's praying for you. She's, she's, she's breaking, she's tearing down the heavens on your behalf. So a woman who can pray for you is very important. If you have a girlfriend or a fiance, a woman who doesn't pray for you at all, at all, nah, she's not good. <laughs> she's not good at all. You need a woman who can pray for you. She can go down on her knees and sought God on your behalf. Okay? You need a woman who can pray. So um, apart from that, you need a woman who has, how do I put this? She has the same mindset as you. Even if, if not better, a woman who, when you're talking to her, she can actually reason with you. I mean, there's someone when you're talking to her, say, okay, honey, um, there's not money today, but I'm expecting money next week, so can we just manage what we have for, like, next two days? And she's like, no, no, I don't want to manage nothing. What do you mean by that? I, I totally regret getting married to you. I totally regret having a relationship with you. Why? Because you can't even afford the bunch of things I need. I'm, you promised to take care of me. Why are you asking me to manage for two days? Hello, I'm trying, I'm here, the man is here trying to explain to you that things are a little difficult. So just manage for the next two days, let's see how we can work it out. And she's telling you, no, I don't want to understand what you have to say. I don't care, I need to make my hair, I need to fix my nails, I need to get my lashes on. Okay, now you know you're in a serious situation, okay? So you know a woman who, when you're talking to her, she actually understands what you're trying to say, and then she actually trusts that. You committed to making things work for good in the sense that she knows that even when you say um baby there's not money for today can we just manage for the next two days and expecting money like next week she can say okay because she trusts you she's not thinking that oh you're giving money to some side chick or she's thinking like um oh maybe you've sent money to your younger brother and you were leaving him here to starve you know she doesn't have that kind of money so she means she actually has to trust you all right, so she needs to understand when you're talking to her. She needs to understand that, okay, honey, this lady in the office, she's bugging me seriously. I don't know what to do. Can we just figure a way to get her off my off my case? She doesn't go, oh, so you've been cheating on me, huh? You've been cheating on me? I mean, why have you been cheating on me? What have I done to deserve it? And she starts fighting you. Yeah, nah, nah, we don't need those kind of ladies. You need to say when you talk to them, they can actually understand what you're trying to say and look for ways they can... Um, iron things out, you know, sort out things, because two heads are better than one. So apart from that, you need a lady that respects you. Okay, now this is where a lot of people take advantage of ladies. You say, I need a woman who respects me. Church is that you should get a woman who respects me. And because they start to back down others, they demand, hey, I want you to sit down there. Well, because you're supposed to respect me. If you do not sit down there, it means you don't respect me. Now, you're actually crossing your boundaries. There's a difference between being respectful and being bossy. Yeah, the difference between asking for your respect and being bossy. Now, you don't even ask for respect. You earn it. Respect is earned. I mean, you can't expect... You can't... Expect, okay, you're in a situation about you always treating another woman. You're always lying to her. You're always not treating her well. And then you expect her to respect... It's respect you. you. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> of course, she would, she would not respect you. Why? Because you haven't earned it. But when you take care of your woman, you love your woman... Uh, you don't give her causes to doubt you. I'm not talking about the overly obsessively jealous type of woman. I'm talking about you not giving her a cause to actually doubt your honesty or your sincerity or your faithfulness or your fidelity. Okay, you've, you've, you've just spoken to her. You're being honest with her. You're being truthful to her. You, you show her respect. 
you're actually asking for her opinions and things when you want to make decisions you actually ask her okay honey what do you think about this and when she says even what she's saying is stupid it doesn't make any sense you actually take it into consideration you actually listen to her women love men who listen to them and it's very easy to get respect from it's actually easy to respect a man who actually listens to you you know so if you do not listen to your woman you don't want to hear what she has to say because you feel i'm the man of this house in court you understand i'm not in the house so whatever i say is final so because of that i don't care what you have to say or what you have to do what i say is final she is not going to be respecting you worst case you know she just will be afraid of you and of course you know what that's fair in when there's fear in a relationship uh, the woman or the partner who is actually afraid in the relationship feels caged and they look for ways to be liberated from the shackles of fear. So it's not about you putting fear into your partner. You don't need to make your partner to be afraid of you. You as a partner do not need to be afraid of your other partner. I mean, why would you want to be in a relationship where you're scared of each other? Someone please explain that to me. Like, I do not understand at all. So. You need a woman who respects you and for you to have a woman who respects you you need to earn that respect you don't get the respect or earn the respect by shouting and backing all this at her no you actually earn the respect by listening to her and fulfilling your responsibilities as a man to the woman see according to the bible the holy scripture says that a man should love his wife and the woman should submit to her husband it doesn't say a woman should submit to her husband and then a man should love his wife. No, it says a man should love his wife. If you do not show love to your woman, you should not say, woman, I love you, and actually prove to her that you love her by taking care of her, by listening to her, by trying to understand what she's saying, even when she's saying rubbish. <laughs> But actually paying close attention to her needs and be sensitive to how she feels and taking her feelings and her emotions into concentration when you're making decisions or when you're trying to do things. If you see she's overly sensitive, you need to be careful about what you say and how you act around her. Okay, so when she notices that you actually take time out to pay close attention to her, she's bound to, you know, respect you because, oh, I love that man. He respects me. He treats me well. She feels pampered. She feels baby. She feels like... I'm in my own home. She feels like I'm in my world. Okay? And she's, she, of course, she wants to reciprocate that love by actually submitting to you, by actually respecting you, by actually honoring you, and actually showing you up to all her girlfriends. Do you understand? So you need to actually love your woman so that she can show you respect. You don't earn that respect by shouting and saying, shut up your mouth. Hey, keep quiet. I pay for your hair. I pay for your bills. I pay for your lashes. I pay for your nails. <laughs> And he said at least that all the wonderful things you've done for her. So what? I mean, so many guys should have done it. But she said, no. And she just have to pick you. Okay, so I'm trying to be partial here. But the truth is, you do not gain respect if you do not show love. So when you love your woman, she will actually show you respect in turn. Because she's looking for ways to please you. Ways to make you happy. She want to make you mad. I'm like, oh, no, don't touch my baby. I mean, I want to, I want to be really happy and sound and making, looking very healthy and all that. She's going to take extra caution to make sure that things go well with you all right so i'd like to talk about the guys as well like for what the ladies should look at when they're going for a guy okay but i'm not going to talk about that now because i don't want this video to be too bulky so i'm going to have to do that next week all right guys so just bear with me let's finish about the ladies first and then we can move on to the guys next week so till i come your way again all right it's been a wonderful time chatting with you guys i hope you subscribe feel free to comment on the comment section like share subscribe share subscribe share <laughs> comment and just feel free to enjoy my videos okay next week monday i'm gonna come back here again by god's grace and give you more tips on how to make your relationships work all right so subscribe to our channel like um comment follow us on instagram trust hat matters follow us uh like a page on Facebook, Trusty Hat Matters. And you can also write us mails um, when you want to talk about things, you want to call us, whichever case. Just send us a mail, Trusty Hat Matters at gmail.com. All right? So, take come away again, guys. Take care. Peace. Take care of your relationship. Love you. Bye bye.